Hello students, welcome to Top Scholars. Today we will be discussing about acidic and basic radicals. Now friends, let's first start with radicals, right? What are radicals actually? In order to understand radicals, let's understand what do we mean by ionic compounds first. Now friends, ionic compounds are generally made up of two constituents and which are these two constituents? Cation and anion. So, Ionic compounds are made up of two constituents that is cation and anion. Cations are positively charged ions whereas anions are negatively charged ions. So, what are positively charged ions called? Yes, cations and negatively charged ions? Anions, exactly. So, as we saw that we have ionic compounds which are made up of cations and anions. These cations and anions are called as radicals. And these radicals take part independently in a chemical reaction. So, ionic compounds are made up of, yes, two constituents that is cation and anion. Cation is positively charged and anion is negatively charged ion. And we said that these cations and anions are nothing but radicals. And these radicals independently take part in the chemical reaction. But friends, what do we mean by acidic radicals? Now, if I talk about acids like hydrochloric acid that is HCl, hydrobromic acid that is HBr, these acids are formed when anionic radicals pair with cationic radical that is H plus radical. And these ionic radicals are called as acidic radicals. So, acidic radicals are simply anionic radicals which pair up with cationic radical H plus forming acids and hence they are called as acidic radicals. For example, we have Cl minus, NO3 minus, Br minus. These radicals are said to be acidic radicals. Why so? Let's check it out, right? Now, let's first take Cl minus ion friends, right? Cl minus is an anion, negatively charged ion, yes. Now, this Cl minus pairs up or combines with H plus radical that is the cationic radical resulting in the formation of HCl and HCl is an acid exactly hydrochloric acid. Let's take the next example now NO3 minus again it is an anion negatively charged ion. Now this NO3 minus as you can see it pairs up it combines with H plus radical that is the cationic radical. And what does it form? Yes, HNO3. And what's HNO3? Nitric acid. Again, we get an acid. Now, let's move on to Br minus, friends. Yes, again, it's anion, right? And it's negatively charged. So, as you can look over here, Br minus pairs up, that is, it combines with H plus radical. And what does it form? HBr, hydrobromic acid. Again, here we get an acid. So, as we saw here that Cl minus, NO3 minus, Br minus, which are the anionic radicals, they paired up with what? Yes, H plus radical, that is the cationic radical. And what did we get? Acid, exactly. Since these anionic radicals paired up with H plus radical and we got acids, we said that these anions are nothing but acidic radicals, exactly. So, acidic radicals are what? Acidic radicals are simply anionic radicals which pair up with cationic radical H plus to give you acids, exactly. To learn more about this topic, download Top Scholars app.